All right, well, this is fun. So I thought I was going to be playing some <laughs> ARZ today, since that's what I did last time, because there's no normal servers up. And now there's nothing. You know, guys, I want to be completely honest. I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been subscribing to my channel recently. I've actually been getting a lot of new subscribers. I'm actually now like at 156 as I'm making this video. And honestly, I'm just really, really happy. I gained like six subscribers and two new ones from Twitter. So shout out to everyone who's watching this video. Shout out to everyone who's subscribing, subscribed, future past and whatnot. I'm just really honored you guys decided to sub to my channel. And I hope you guys can watch me get famous. So I've been kind of hinting these past like couple days about CSGO, especially over on my Twitter. If you guys don't follow me on my Twitter already. And I'm honestly really excited to get back into CSGO, mainly because I have not played CSGO in such a long time, and I used to be really, really good. And because I'm going to try to get back into CSGO, I actually brought back a lot of my old playlists of videos I used to post of clips that I had. So if you guys ever want to check that out, I have it in my description down below. I've also been like spending a lot of time trying to recreate a lot of old skins I've used to had back in the day. I used to be like a huge skin guy. I still am now. I've always been really good like with customizing skins and just like collecting. And it's honestly kind of sad now how the way the market has turned out because Stuff is a lot more expensive now, which I guess is a good and bad thing. Like, if you have items that you want to go up in value a long time ago, it's a good thing. But trying to buy stuff is really hard nowadays, especially because of the giant price inflation. Since the like, supply has really decreased, especially because of all the bans on trading, gambling, and whatnot, like, CSGO skins increase in supply and demand, really, because, like, who's really going to be wanting to buy CSGO skins now? Like, I think a big market was really like early days of collecting and like people wanting to get skins for gambling and stuff. It's even so bad, it's gotten to the point like you can no longer get an AK Redline for like, what was it? AK Redline used to be like around like five to seven dollars. Like and used to have like, you get like 30,000 supply. Now there's only like probably like what, 2,000? Like it's just a huge difference. Uh, but I'm actually planning on trying to recreate a lot of skins I used to own with turn just sticker compositions and stuff like that and just recreate them so I can use them while I'm playing the game again. I do have two in the works right now. One is gonna be a little bit harder because the sticker is like so old. It's from like 2014 and it's like worth $20. That's like the most expensive part of the whole loadout. And I've already got another skin of the AK. I've already pretty much got that done. I might redo the stickers on it though because at the time I just put random stickers. So I also just recently watched the mw2 trailer and i watched all of them i thought it was gonna be a little bit more um exciting than it was i could just had a few right there i thought it was gonna be a little bit more exciting it was kind of overwhelming underwhelming to be honest i did post my reaction on thursday this video will probably be up on tuesday so i'll also have that link in the description below if you guys want to watch all these new trailers of me i wonder what you guys think of the new mw2 stuff that's been released so far what do you guys think i personally am kind of worried because i don't even know if there's gonna be even new guns i don't think the style is really changing like the style looks pretty much one-to-one -one with normal modern warfare which i guess is a good and bad thing but like almost like every call of duty even if it's like a sweet goal how they can completely different like aesthetic change like mono for two to mono for three looks completely different in terms of like everything it's almost like a completely new call of duty which was honestly always really cool like whenever a new call of duty came out it was like essentially like a brand new game every time not like a literal sequel like with most games oh you know i just realized i forgot that there is a vaulted edition that comes with a whole entire weapon kit i think like every gun or i don't know what this first ever weapon bolt is I don't know, like, if one gun has, like, customizations for, like, every attachment, which would be cool. Don't get me wrong, but if it's just one gun, that'd be kind of lame. I kind of was thinking every gun gets a skin out this, which would be really cool, but I don't think that's how this works. And it looks like if you buy this uh, vault edition, you get 10 blueprints and 12 operator skins. I don't know if it's for Ghost. And 
is it the ghost legacy pack meaning that you get skins for every like ghost character like every character from ghost becomes a skin for ghost or something and then there's this red team one for one pack i'm guessing that's exclusively for the game model for two and it comes out get a couple skins for that which honestly is really dope i actually might buy it when i get the chance it is like a hundred dollars and i did buy cold war so i mean i didn't even like cold war when it first came out so you know might as well you know, since I never talk about what I do literally outside of playing video games, I'll just talk about my job, okay? So I work at a car wash, and it's one of those car washes where the car comes through, you, like, dry off the cars at the very end and help get the excess water off. And it's not a bad job, don't get me wrong. You're, like, 13 bucks an hour. Pretty much why I'm not ever able to upload, you know, I gotta maintain a stable job. But anyway, there's always I'm always having problems with, like, different customers and whatnot, like... There's always customers that will like look super racist and like always try to run you over. They're like my favorite. They'll be like big old like truck van looking trucks. There'll be always those guys who like no matter where you are, they will like keep driving forward until they're like basically about to run you over. I don't know if it's just because it's me or whatever, but it gets kind of annoying after a while when every time I'm trying to help get these guys' car dried off, they're always trying to like ruin my day and run me over. Like, I would greatly appreciate if I didn't get ran over when I'm trying to work the simplest job in the world. What makes it worse, there's always customers too, so... Like, normally in a car wash, you know, you're getting out- your car's on, like, a conveyor belt. And that brings your car to the very end and through the car wash. There's literally people who drive on the line. Now, you made me think, like, why is that a bad thing? Well, first of all, if you could drive through it yourself, they wouldn't need that conveyor belt, right? There's the first thing. Second thing, second thing, why do you feel it's your job to like drive through it? Like, do you like not trust it? Do you like feel like you have somewhere to go? You gotta hurry up in your car drive? Cause I'm pretty sure when people drive on like the conveyor belt, it could like mess it up completely for like everybody involved. And I don't know why people feel like it's like their job to like ruin everybody's day. Like no matter how simple it is like, how hard is it to let your car be like escorted through a car wash? Like just watch the car wash or something. Like why is it your main concern to get off of it? Like at this point, just do it yourself. So you don't have to worry about being on the conveyor belt. But when people be doing that, I don't even feel like helping them out. Like if you are coming through the line and you like are purposely like driving off of the line. Ooh, especially don't get me started when it's like stops. Fuck, no. Anyway, I especially hate it when it's stopped. And so you should naturally think, hmm, if I'm supposed to be like in neutral during this whole process and now the line is stopped, you should probably think, hmm, if somebody really wants me to come off, they'll tell me. Especially because it'll be stopped like right at the very end of like the line. And it's to the point where their car is not completely dried off yet from, you know, the high powered air. It's like not even dried off yet. So their cars are completely soaked in water, and they think that I want to sit there and take like every little m morsel of water off. This guy is just sitting in the window. And when they do that, guess what? I do not help them. There's one guy that always comes in the car wash and purposely drives off of it every time. But not just simply just driving off of it slowly. He like speed runs off. Of it. Like it's like the last day on earth. Oh, what is happening, bro? Why is everybody camping right now? What is happening, bro? Their whole team is literally just sitting in the house. Oh, yeah, they're all just sitting in the house, bro. Okay, you're getting grenaded. Please kill him. I got... Oh, nope, I'm getting grenaded. You know, I just hope CSGO is as infuriating as Call of Duty has been for me. I'll be completely honest. I'm kind of over it already. I don't even know if I want to play IDForex anymore. It's like the easiest way for me to talk to you guys and at least get some gameplay for you guys to sit over, but damn, like, like why is this dude sitting in the shower? Like, I know you don't take a shower outside this game, but why you gotta sit in the shower on this specific map? Sit in the shower in real life, please. Like, think about your life in the shower. Oh my, this is so boring. Where is anybody? This is a fi- this is a 6v6 right now, okay? Don't get me wrong. I know it's not like 12v12 like there usually is, but where is everybody? 
there is literally no one on this map, bro. If I get killed by a dude like sitting in the shower, sitting in a corner. Oh. She on the way over, burn that bitch over, fuck in the road, we're calling the night, wake up and start over. Hey, shit's away.